On the 12th of June 1922, a special ceremony was held at Windsor Castle to mark the disbandment of six British Army regiments which are traditionally recruited in the south of Ireland. The Royal Irish Regiment, the Connaught Rangers, the Prince of Wales's Leinster Regiment, Royal Canadians, the Royal Munster Fusiliers, the Royal Dublin Fusiliers and the South Irish Horse had all fought in the First World War, during which many of their soldiers had been killed. But following Ireland's war for independence and the subsequent creation of the Irish Free State, now known as the Republic of Ireland, their service with the British Army came to an end and they were formally disbanded. Their regimental colours were laid up in the castle's St George's Hall to be kept forever in the care of King George V and his successors. As he received the colours into his care, the King declared that they would be treasured, honoured and protected as hallowed memorials of the glorious deeds of brave and loyal regiments. The Royal Irish Regiment was the oldest of these units. Its identity was forged in 1695 when it played a prominent role in capturing the formidable fortress of Namur in modern-day Belgium. The Connaught Rangers was a successor of the 88th Regiment of Foot, which had won a great reputation fighting the French in the Peninsular War of the early 19th century. The Leinster Regiment had inherited historic links with both India and Canada and was the last regular British regiment to garrison Canada in 1898. The Royal Munster Fusiliers and the Royal Dublin Fusiliers were both formed from the amalgamation of European regiments of Britain's Indian Army. Their Indian origins are revealed by the symbols on their cap badges. Among their many heroic exploits in the First World War, both regiments took part in the desperate assault on the Gallipoli Peninsula in 1915, mounted from the transport ship SS River Clyde. The South Irish Horse was originally raised as an Imperial Yeomanry Regiment at the end of the Boer War. It fought throughout the First World War and was among the units which bore the brunt of the German Spring Offensive in 1918. These six regiments were just some of many distinguished British Army units which had been raised in Ireland. Recruited locally as well as in Britain and abroad, soldiers of these regiments have served in every corner of the globe and in many of the army's most arduous campaigns. This long tradition is maintained by the present day Irish regiments. At the same time, service in the British Army remains open to citizens of the Republic of Ireland. All of this means that there is still a strong Irish presence in the army today, and Irish heritage remains integral to the army's character.